In algebraic geometry and theoretical physics, mirror symmetry is a relationship between geometric objects called Calabio manifolds. The term refers to a situation where two Calabio manifolds look very different geometrically but are nevertheless equivalent when employed as extra dimensions of string theory. Mirror symmetry was originally discovered by physicists. Mathematicians became interested in this relationship around 1990 when Philip Candelas, Xenia de la Rosa, Paul Green, and Linda Parks showed that it could be used as a tool in enumerative geometry, a branch of mathematics concerned with counting the number of solutions to geometric questions. Candelas and his collaborators showed that mirror symmetry could be used to count rational curves on a Calabio manifold thus solving a long-standing problem. Although the original approach to mirror symmetry was based on physical ideas that were not understood in a mathematically precise way, some of its mathematical predictions have since been proven rigorously. Today mirror symmetry is a major research topic in pure mathematics and mathematicians are working to develop a mathematical understanding of the relationship based on physicists' intuition. Mirror symmetry is also a fundamental tool for doing calculations in string theory, and it has been used to understand aspects of quantum field theory, the formalism that physicists use to describe elementary particles. Major approaches to mirror symmetry include the homological mirror symmetry program of Maxim Kontsevich and the SYZ conjecture of Andrew Strominger, Xing Tung Yo, and Eric Zaslow. Overview Strings and Compactification in Physics String theory is a theoretical framework in which the point like particles of particle physics are replaced by one dimensional objects called strings. These strings look like small segments or loops of ordinary string. String theory describes how strings propagate through space and interact with each other. On distant scales larger than the string scale, a string will look just like an ordinary particle, with its mass, charge, and other properties determined by the vibrational state of the string. Splitting and recombination of strings correspond to particle emission and absorption, giving rise to the interactions between particles. There are notable differences between the world described by string theory and the everyday world. In everyday life, there are three familiar dimensions of space, and there is one dimension of time. Thus, in the language of modern physics, one says that space-time is four-dimensional. One of the peculiar features of string theory is that it requires extra dimensions of space-time for its mathematical consistency. In superstring theory, the version of the theory that incorporates a theoretical idea called supersymmetry, there are six extra dimensions of space-time in addition to the four that are familiar from everyday experience. One of the goals of current research in string theory is to develop models in which the strings represent particles observed in high-energy physics experiments. For such a model to be consistent with observations, its space-time must be four-dimensional at the relevant distance scales. So one must look for ways to restrict the extra dimensions to smaller scales. In most realistic models of physics based on string theory, this is accomplished by a process called compactification, in which the extra dimensions are assumed to close up on themselves to form circles. In the limit where these curled up dimensions became very small, one obtains a theory in which space-time has effectively a lower number of dimensions. A standard analogy for this is to consider a multidimensional object such as a garden hose. If the hose is viewed from a sufficient distance, it appears to have only one dimension, its length. However, as one approaches the hose, one discovers that it contains a second dimension, its circumference. Thus, an ant crawling on the surface of the hose would move in two dimensions. 
Calabio manifolds compactification can be used to construct models in which space-time is effectively four-dimensional. However, not every way of compactifying the extra dimensions produces a model with the right properties to describe nature. In a viable model of particle physics, the compact extra dimensions must be shaped like a Calabio manifold. A Calabio manifold is a special space which is typically taken to be six-dimensional in applications to string theory. It is named after mathematicians Eugenio Calabi and Xingtung Yeo. After Calabio manifolds had entered physics as a way to compactify extra dimensions, many physicists began studying these manifolds. In the late 1980s, Lance Dixon, Wolfgang Lurcher, Kumran VAFA, and Nick Warner noticed that given such a compactification of string theory, it is not possible to reconstruct uniquely a corresponding Calabio manifold. Instead, two different versions of string theory called type IIA string theory and type IIB can be compactified on completely different Calabio manifolds, giving rise to the same physics. In this situation, the manifolds are called mirror manifolds, and the relationship between the two physical theories is called mirror symmetry. The mirror asymmetry relationship is a particular example of what physicists call a duality. In general, the term duality refers to a situation where two seemingly different physical theories turn out to be equivalent in a non-trivial way. If one theory can be transformed so it looks just like another theory, the two are said to be dual under that transformation. Put differently, the two theories are mathematically different descriptions of the same phenomena. Such dualities play an important role in modern physics, especially in string theory. Regardless of whether Calabio compactifications of string theory provide a correct description of nature, the existence of the mirror duality between different string theories has significant mathematical consequences. The Calabio manifolds used in string theory are of interest in pure mathematics and mirror symmetry allows mathematicians to solve problems in enumerative algebraic geometry. A branch of mathematics concerned with counting the numbers of solutions to geometric questions. A classical problem of enumerative geometry is to enumerate the rational curves on a Calabio manifold such as the one illustrated above. By applying mirror symmetry, mathematicians have translated this problem into an equivalent problem for the mirror Calabio, which turns out to be easier to solve. In physics, mirror symmetry is justified on physical grounds. However, mathematicians generally require rigorous proofs that do not require an appeal to physical intuition. From a mathematical point of view, the version of mirror symmetry described above is still only a conjecture. But there is another version of mirror symmetry in the context of topological string theory. A simplified version of string theory introduced by Edward Witten, which has been rigorously proven by mathematicians. In the context of topological string theory, mirror symmetry states that two theories called the A model and B model are equivalent in the sense that there is a duality relating them. Today mirror symmetry is an active area of research in mathematics, and mathematicians are working to develop a more complete mathematical understanding of mirror symmetry based on physicists' intuition. History the idea of mirror symmetry can be traced back to the mid-1980s when it was noticed that a string propagating on a circle of radius is physically equivalent to a string propagating on a circle of radius in appropriate units. This phenomenon is now known as T-duality and is understood to be closely related to mirror symmetry. In a paper from 1985, Philip Candelas, Gary Horowitz, Andrew Strominger, and Edward Witten showed that by compactifying string theory on a Calabio manifold, one obtains a theory roughly similar to the standard model of particle physics that also consistently incorporates an idea called supersymmetry. Following this development, many physicists began studying Calabio compactifications hoping to construct realistic models of particle physics based on string theory. 
Come run BAFA and others notice that given such a physical model, it is not possible to reconstruct uniquely a corresponding Calabio manifold. Instead, there are two Calabio manifolds that give rise to the same physics. By studying the relationship between Calabio manifolds and certain conformal field theories called Getner models, Brian Green and Ronan Plesser found non-trivial examples of the mirror relationship. Further evidence for this relationship came from the work of Philip Candelas, Monica Linker, and Rolf Schimrug, who surveyed a large number of Calabio manifolds by computer and found that they came in mirror pairs. Mathematicians became interested in mirror symmetry around 1990 when physicists Philip Candelas, Xenia de la Rosa, Paul Green, and Linda Parks showed that mirror symmetry could be used to solve problems in enumerative geometry that had resisted solution for decades or more. These results were presented to mathematicians at a conference at the Mathematical Sciences Research Institute in Berkeley, California in May 1991. During this conference, it was noticed that one of the numbers Candelas had computed for the counting of rational curves disagreed with the number obtained by Norwegian mathematicians Gaia Ellings Reard and Stein Arald Stromer using ostensibly more rigorous techniques. Many mathematicians at the conference assumed that Candelas's work contained a mistake since it was not based on rigorous mathematical arguments. However, after examining their solution, Ellings, Reard and Stromer discovered an error in the computer code and, upon fixing the code, they got an answer that agreed with the one obtained by Candelas and his collaborators. In 1990, Edward Witten introduced topological string theory, a simplified version of string theory, and physicists showed that there is a version of mirror symmetry for topological string theory. This statement about topological string theory is usually taken as the definition of mirror symmetry in the mathematical literature. In an address at the International Congress of Mathematicians in 1994, mathematician Maxim Kontsevich presented a new mathematical conjecture based on the physical idea of mirror symmetry in topological string theory. Known as homological mirror symmetry, this conjecture formalizes mirror symmetry as an equivalence of two mathematical structures, the derived category of coherent sheaves on a Calabio manifold and the Fukaya category of its mirror. Also around 1995, Kontsevich analyzed the results of Candelas which gave a general formula for the problem of counting rational curves on a quintic threefold, and he reformulated these results as a precise mathematical conjecture. In 1996, Alexander Givental posted a paper that claimed to prove this conjecture of Kontsevich. Initially, many mathematicians found this paper hard to understand, so there were doubts about its correctness. Subsequently, Bong Lian, Kefeng Lu, and Xing Tung Yo published an independent proof in a series of papers. Despite controversy over who had published the first proof, these papers are now collectively seen as providing a mathematical proof of the results originally obtained by physicists using mirror symmetry. In 2000, Kentero Hori and Kumrun VAFA gave another physical proof of mirror symmetry based on T-duality. Work on mirror symmetry continues today with major developments in the context of strings on surfaces with boundaries. In addition, mirror symmetry has been related to many active areas of mathematics research, such as the McKay correspondence, topological quantum field theory, and the theory of stability conditions. At the same time, basic questions continue to vex. For example, mathematicians still lack an understanding of how to construct examples of mirror Calabio pairs though there has been progress in understanding this issue. Applications In numerative geometry many of the important mathematical applications of mirror symmetry belong to the branch of mathematics called enumerative geometry. In enumerative geometry, one is interested in counting the number of solutions to geometric questions, typically using the techniques of algebraic geometry. 
One of the earliest problems of enumerative geometry was posed around the year 200 BC by the ancient Greek mathematician Apollonius, who asked how many circles in the plane are tangent to three given circles. In general, the solution to the problem of Apollonius is that there are eight such circles. Enumerative problems in mathematics often concern a class of geometric objects called algebraic varieties which are defined by the vanishing of polynomials. For example, the clash cubic is defined using a certain polynomial of degree 3 and 4 variables. A celebrated result of 19th-century mathematicians Arthur Cayley and George Salmon states that there are exactly 27 straight lines that lie entirely on such a surface. Generalizing this problem, one can ask how many lines can be drawn on a quintic Calabio manifold, such as the one illustrated above, which is defined by a polynomial of degree 5. This problem was solved by the 19th century German mathematician Hermann Schubert, who found that there are exactly 2,875 such lines. In 1986, geometer Sheldon Katz proved that the number of curves, such as circles, that are defined by polynomials of degree 2 and lie entirely in the quintic is 609,250. By the year 1991, most of the classical problems of enumerative geometry had been solved and interest in enumerative geometry had begun to diminish. According to mathematician Mark Gross, as the old problems had been solved, people went back to check Schubert's numbers with modern techniques. But that was getting pretty stale. The field was reinvigorated in May 1991 when physicists Philip Candelas, Xenia de la Rosa, Paul Green, and Linda Parks showed that mirror symmetry could be used to count the number of degree 3 curves on a quintic Calabio. Candelas and his collaborators found that these six-dimensional Calabio manifolds can contain exactly 317,206,375 curves of degree 3, in addition to counting degree 3 curves on a quintic threefold. Candelas and his collaborators obtained a number of more general results for counting rational curves which went far beyond the results obtained by mathematicians. Although the methods used in this work were based on physical intuition, mathematicians have gone on to prove rigorously some of the predictions of mirror symmetry. In particular, the enumerative predictions of mirror symmetry have now been rigorously proven. Theoretical physics in addition to its applications in enumerative geometry Mirror symmetry is a fundamental tool for doing calculations in string theory. In the A model of topological string theory, physically interesting quantities are expressed in terms of infinitely many numbers called Brom of Witten invariants, which are extremely difficult to compute. In the B model, the calculations can be reduced to classical integrals and are much easier by applying mirror symmetry. Theorists can translate difficult calculations in the A model into equivalent but technically easier calculations in the B model. These calculations are then used to determine the probabilities of various physical processes in string theory. Mirror symmetry can be combined with other dualities to translate calculations in one theory into equivalent calculations in a different theory. By outsourcing calculations to different theories in this way, Theorists can calculate quantities that are impossible to calculate without the use of dualities. Outside of string theory, mirror symmetry is used to understand aspects of quantum field theory, the formalism that physicists use to describe elementary particles. For example, gauge theories are a class of highly symmetric physical theories appearing in the standard model of particle physics and other parts of theoretical physics. Some gauge theories which are not part of the standard model, but which are nevertheless important for theoretical reasons, 
arise from strings propagating on a nearly singular background. For such theories, mirror symmetry is a useful computational tool. Indeed, mirror symmetry can be used to perform calculations in an important gauge theory in four space-time dimensions that was studied by Nathan Seiberg and Edward Wittenen is also familiar in mathematics in the context of Donaldson invariance. There is also a generalization of mirror symmetry called 3D mirror symmetry which relates pairs of quantum field theories in three spacetime dimensions.